Waiting for the plane. Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back again, doing some more cooking for you guys. Talked to a bunch of you on uh, line this week and found out what you guys are looking for. I uh, got a bug on me. Uh, apparently it's getting cold in other parts of the world. It's not here, but uh, I'm excited to do some recipes for the, the places in the world that you guys are getting cold and eventually we'll get there, so enjoy. Today we're going to do a crock pot recipe and it's going to be a breakfast crock pot. What breakfast, you say? When I was growing up, we used to eat a lot of barley and prunes. This is a traditional kind of Polish dish where you cook prunes and barley together. Prunes, for those of you who don't know, are dried plums. It's just a different name. Prunus vulgarum, europeum, something like that is the real name. And so, forget all the marketing ploys. We actually looked it up on Wiki today. Prunes are just dried plums. Get over it. It's not for constipation. Anyway, uh, this is something we used to eat a lot when you, we were growing up. Uh, it's prunes and barley. It's delicious. You cook the barley like you do rice with the prunes in it. Then you serve it with some cold milk and some sugar on it, and I think you're going to love it. Today I'm going to do it a little bit different because I happen to have a bunch of pears on hand that the heat are getting to, so I want to use them up. And so this is going to be a prune and pear barley, so I think it will be adventurous for us. So we'll try that. This is a fairly simple recipe. We're going to need some pears. I'll show you those. They're starting to get a little wilty, that's why I wanted to use them up for this recipe. And I encourage you to do the same like this. We also have some barley. Barley is a grain. If you're not familiar with it, it looks like this. They're little tiny pieces. It's delicious. It's what, uh, it's what beer is made out of. We also have some prunes, or as they say here, dried plums. We'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to peel your pears. I've got the crock pot here, so we're just going to put the pears in here when we're ready. If you're wondering if you see all this other stuff back here, that's for the next recipe. So let's get started. I'm going to peel, I'm going to peel and cut our pears. The skin on these is a little rough. And you can also use different kind of pears. You don't have to use these. Oh, look at that. Core came right out. Let's do one more. See that? Nope, not bad. Some fruits like to go forward, some fruits like to go backwards, some go both ways. Do you guys know about this tip? It's like a round tip on here. It's for this. Boop. Taking out the bad spots. Taking out the bad spots. Alright, so now we're going to cut up our pears. Remove the core. I do better in hand. If you do better on the board, do it on the board. This is about you. If you don't like pears, don't use pears. You can use apples. If you don't like one of those, you can just use prunes. If you don't like prunes, use whatever fruit you like. Be creative. Be fearless. Remember, that's the that's the idea here. Be fearless. Try something you think is going to work. If it doesn't work, eh, do it different next time. Ooh, this one is not great inside, but I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to get the part that is good. So those parts are okay. And that part's okay. Don't waste your food. Okay, so then I'm just gonna make some chunks out of this. They don't need to be too small. This is gonna cook for a long time, 
And most likely, you're not even going to see this pear. It is going to disintegrate. And you'll just get the great pear flavor and the nice sweetness. So you don't have to be perfect about this. Just chop them up. Put this in the pot. So you guys can see we've got pears in the pot. Let's add the barley first. I'm going to put two cups of barley. Three to one ratio. So we have two cups of barley, which means we need three cups of water. Oh, I'm sorry, six cups of water. I have good tap water here. Two, four, six. As you experiment with this, you could try things like cinnamon. You could try nutmeg. You could try pumpkin pie spice. And I'm gonna put about a big handful, which is gonna be about that much, which I think is about a cup. About a cup of, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more. About a cup and a third of prunes. All right, so I hope you guys can see this. What we've got in here is just the barley, the pears, and the prunes. So just giving it a little stir. Now remember, this is a lot of grain. So I'm probably going to add just a touch of salt, about a half a teaspoon. And you say, why are you adding salt? Remember, it's grain, like pasta or whatever else. It's going to taste much better. That is it. That is how simple this is. We're going to put this on the heat, and we're going to cook this for six to eight hours. This would be the perfect thing to put on before you go to bed and have your crock pot ready in the morning. It'll be delicious. All right, put the lid on. Let me open this up. Oh, look at there. So what we've got going on here is these are the pears. They're on the top. They're looking nice and cooked. And the barley and the prunes. Now, if you were cooking this overnight, you don't need to stir it. You just can leave it alone. But I just thought I'd show you guys what it looked like. You see that? Here's what a stewed prune looks like. Delicious. And a cooked pear. Delicious. Not quite done but getting there. All right, we'll let that one go too. Good morning, everybody. I hope you can see this. Um, it has been overnight and our barley, voila. Now I stirred this a little bit and fluffed it up just so you can see all the different stuff in it. But uh, look, we got pears, we've got the prunes, we've got the, excuse me, the dried, the dried plums, and we got the barley. So I'm gonna take a scoop of this and show you how I like to make it up to eat it. Okay, we've got two scoops here, and I'm going to show you two different ways that we like to eat this. Um, my mother prefers it like this. Milk, carnation milk, and make a moat. And then, I'm using uh, turbinado sugar. You guys familiar with that? It's an unrefined, well, it's only a little bit refined. Still got some of the brown stuff. I like it because it has flavor. And then a touch of sugar on top. And if you're me, this is the way to go. Just butter and sugar. Not too much sugar, just a little bit. Because the fruit is already sweet. Got my sexy morning hair here. All right. I'm gonna grab this with a towel because it's hot. All right, so here is my hot cereal. And the part you've been waiting for. It's hot. Try this. <laughs> Seriously, it's good. All right, one more bite. Hot. Yeah. Try this at home. I hope you enjoyed prunes and barley. This is a great thing for breakfast. I hope you give it a try. It's uh, very easy to make and it's pretty inexpensive. It's a good way to feed a lot of people. And the great thing about it is if you set this before you go to bed at night, uh, turn it on or have your crock pot turn on six to eight hours later, boom, you've got hot breakfast ready to go for the whole family. Uh, your kids can even get it when they're ready if they're old enough to do that. And it's also a really good thing for holiday mornings so mom doesn't have to get out of bed. I hope you guys will give this a try. I hope you like and subscribe down below. I'll put the recipe there as well. And let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye.